Hello, my friends. Black and Rose here. Hello, my friends. Black and Rose here, and today I'm doing a fresh edition of Let's Talk, which I hinted at briefly in my Broforce uh, video. And it's going to explain a couple of things, and I hope this will be beneficial to people. Uh, yeah. Now, first things first, I haven't done much in the sense of YouTube lately. I mean, even that Broforce clip was recorded a while ago, and only just uploaded recently. Uh, the reason for that is, is I've had to deal with some difficult personal issues, one of which has culminated in... <coughs> It's culminated into the death of one of my grandparents. Uh, yeah, so I've been thoroughly distraught and distressed, but that event has been the inspiration for this clip. And I'll get onto that in a moment. The first thing I want to do is to basically thank people, one, for bearing with me on this, and two, to thank individuals who have been supporting me during this. Now, the three individuals in particular I do want to thank are Derpy Lustet, Angel Masquerade, and I Am DM. Now, th this, those three names are not the only people who have assisted me and supported me through through my sorrow, but those are three that have appeared on my YouTube channel before and they have been indescribably supportive. Uh, I don't think I would have survived without them as well as the other people who have been supporting me. Uh, I could name everybody but I I won't. Uh, individuals will know that I appreciate what they've done for me because I would have told them or I'm due to tell them. Uh, people have assisted me in various ways but that's just how it goes. I feel a lot more stable now, and I shall be putting together some more clips, uh, solo clips, co um, collaboration clips, and perhaps some new stuff as well. I am going to do more Minecrafty stuff, may even be more Pixelmon stuff, because I happen to like that series. And as you can tell, the clip I've got in the background here is Walking Dead. I think that kind of suits the theme that I'm going with here. But that was me explaining, well, I say explaining, more just um, stating why I've not been doing much lately. I've been dealing with uh, dealing with uh, a few issues in that regard. I mean, that's the biggest one. I still got to deal with that later on as well. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this experience and see if I can do something good with it. Now. The, the path I've chosen to take with that is to make this clip to, to try see if anything that I have learned, anything that I've dealt with and see if, see if um, just to see if you guys can benefit from it if this clip helps even one person cope with loss and copes with suffering then I count this clip as a resounding success because for those of you who know me personally I Want, I always want to do my best to try and ease suffering, to replace it with with joy and comfort. So, the, we now come on to the crux of this clip, which is coping with loss in the sen in the context of death. Now, there is no uniform way of it. There is no uniform way of this. But the first thing that comes is the grieving process. You need to go through the process of of grieving and the crux of that is accepting what's happened you need to reach that stage before the healing can begin because until you accept what has happened and accept that it has happened then you're not going to get past it now accepting what has happened can come in different ways the best way I found is and I always find when it comes to accepting things is that 
once something has happened, it's in the past. It cannot be changed, no matter how much we want to change it. Therefore, spending all our time wishing that it didn't happen and regretting something happened is energy that is essentially wasted on which could be better used on dealing with the actual situation and getting past it. I mean, they say there's like lots of stages of like the grieving process, like denial and things like that. I'm not going to go through all of that. There's plenty of... Uh, plenty of things on the internet that go on about de uh, dealing with bereavement and that kind of thing. It's one of those things, yeah, so you, you want to know that just came up there, just don't want to stop, I want to stop the screen saver from popping up, but it's one of those things that everybody needs to deal with it in their own way. There is no way, one way of dealing with it and while people may say you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you've got to get, you've got to get past things in your own way and in your own time. Whether that involves um, crying your eyes out for a couple of days then you're fine or just taking like a week or so to yourself or just like playing some games watching some films reading some books things like basically whatever helps you get past it that's what you need to do and one of the big things I found that helped me is having people there who support you people who they don't necessarily need to understand fully what you've gone through but the fact that they're there the fact that they're able to just listen and be supportive. No one can solve the problem because the the event has already occurred. All that can be dealt with is the after effect, the aftershock. And there's a saying that I came up with when this happened, which is it doesn't matter if you can see a punch coming, it'll still hurt when it hits you. And by that I mean even if you even if you've been able to prepare yourself, as I have, because there, there were other circumstances behind my case, but even if you prepare yourself, it's still going to hurt you when it hits. So don't be afraid to to cry. Don't be afraid of that, because it's going to happen. Now, of course, that works in the other context as well. When it's a surprise, when it comes out of the blue, when a punch hits you out of the blue, that hurts even more, because you haven't prepared yourself and that's that's the biggest thing right there is whatever happens it's going to hurt you're going to feel pain it's going to hurt you but the biggest thing you have to remember my friends is that that's normal that's a normal thing and you, you have to accept what has happened once you accept what has happened the healing process can begin and then you can move forwards with your life dealing with the fact that that person isn't there anymore and get and you never they say like uh, people say that you, uh, like time heals all things that's technically true except in many things many really scarring things they don't heal you just learn to live with them you learn to cope and the best advice i can give you is take as long as you need each person requires a different amount of time and different circumstances to 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 recover enough now for me for me it took a couple of days of really intense sorrow and then af after a few sleeps i was feeling stronger and stronger each day i feel a lot stronger now still feel, i mean my heart still hurts me a bit at the moment it's been doing so for the last week but I'm at a stage where I'm comfortable enough to speak here. Another piece of advice is if you've got people you trust, some people who you can speak to, talk to, talk to them. And if you find if you're a friend who sees someone like this, talk to them, but don't impose yourself on them. They need their time as well. Sometimes be sometimes they need to be alone. They need to be left alone to deal with it. Uh, it, it's it's a really difficult one to say because everyone will have their own way and you've got to deal with it in your own way but I mean fi find things that make you happy things that cheer you up and do those things and take each day as it comes one at a time one by one 
Because if you try and deal with every single thing that could happen during the course of the days, oh, hello, uh, all at once, then it will overwhelm you. Take each day as it comes, deal with each situation as it comes, and day by day, you will get stronger. And just remember, death is a certainty in life. We're born, we have a life, then we die. It happens. It's a part of it's a part of human life. There's an old saying that there's two certainties in life: death and taxes. And that's the big thing you've got to remember is that it it's going to happen to it's going to happen eventually. All that happens is that those of us who are left behind have to deal with the loss. But you have but one thing to remember as well is that the person who's gone wouldn't want you spend probably wouldn't want you spending your life dealing with the loss. They probably want you to live your life as well and that's the big thing continue living your life learn from the experience that has occurred and see if you can gain something beneficial out of it see if you can gain something out of it some form of comfort I mean I don't I don't really know what more I can say in this clip other than friend, uh, the people you trust or the people you love that's the time when you need them most. Take each day as it comes. Deal with it in your own way, in your own time. And just just do what you need to do. And just keep on living. Keep it going. Keep yourself together. Cry if you have to. There's no shame in that. You've got to go through the grieving process. But the first thing you need to do is to accept what has happened even if you don't want to because once you accept what has happened and truly accept it in your heart you can then start healing there are a lot of cases where people haven't accepted what has happened and they just they get, they get stuck in limbo okay there's not much more to say at this point but I hope this gives you guys something to think about and some support um, I don't know a great deal of people uh, who are subscribed to my channel but don't hesitate to to drop a message uh, in my inbox uh, if there if I have words that can help I will provide them although once if my subscriber numbers go too high I might not be able to answer everybody but we're all in this well I mean you got you guys are my fan base you're, my, you're the community that has built up from my channel and I thank you guys a lot for everything you've done for me. So I like to make these clips to see if see if they can see if they can benefit people. Even if it's just one person, and if it's just a little bit, it's worth it. It's worth the time. It's worth the effort. And if any of the experiences I've had and the advice I can provide from them is beneficial to people, that makes the experience more worthwhile. It, it gives the experience a positive spin. And I want to do my. I I really hope that any of these let's talks that I do, with um, messages like this in them, I hope they prove beneficial to people. I want to help. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here now, and there will be more clips of of uh, myself, possibly more Angel Masquerade, and some other people that I plan. I have some plans to do clips with. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for clips, let me know in the comments section or in the inbox. If you can provide links to some of these places, uh, please do. It makes finding them so much easier. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching me. I hope this clip proves beneficial to you. And thank you guys so much for the support you've given me during my difficult times. Uh, j just, Just thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I will, and I will see you in my next clip. Incidentally, I hope you enjoyed Broforce and the bloopers that came at the end of it. Take care, my friends.